I am pulling as hard as I can. Ow. There's one thing on everyone's mind when they struggle to put contact lenses into their eyes for the first time, and that is, surely there must be a tool or an apparatus that makes things a little bit easier for me. I've wondered this for the longest time, and I wanted to make a video that demonstrates what kind of products are there out in the market that can and cannot help with putting contacts in. After surfing the web for a few hours, I went ahead and purchased a few things that I would describe comes close to what I would call a contact lens tool. And to make it a little bit more fun, I've designed a challenge for myself. And that is, can I put in and remove contact lenses using these tools in a safe and quick manner? At the end, I'll give you my opinion on whether or not I would prefer these over my own fingers. As a bonus, I've included a tool that is specifically made for hard contact lenses, also known as rigid gas permeable lenses. In a minute, you'll see why they are for hard lenses and not for soft ones. Before we continue, if you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name is Antonio and I'm an optometrist. I've made this channel to bring you educational content in regards to the eyes, so if you haven't already, consider subscribing and I will guarantee it'll be worthwhile. But without further ado, let's begin the first challenge. First up, we have contender number one, which is the More Time 5-piece portable lens stick tool case set. <sighs> Boasting a whopping 1600 ratings and it comes just shy of $16. Inside you get a inserter slash remover and a pair of tweezers with a soft tip. And here they are. It comes with no instructions in the packaging, so I'm guessing the company is trusting people's common sense with contact lenses. Something that they probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> They are environment and non-toxic, whatever that means. And they must be washed by hot water a few times before you use them. The inserter looks like this, the remover looks like this, and the tweezers look like this. Give it a shot, shall we? I'm going to take the lens out of the solution, sort of like this, and bring them onto the applicator. Oh! Ah! I'm gonna have to use a new lens now. Alright, let's try that again. And I'm going to... I am not sure if that's in, I think that is. Okay, so the application wasn't that bad. I wouldn't say though that it is easier to use this tool over my fingers. The reason being is with my fingers I can maneuver it in all the different axes. However, with a tool I do not have the same flexibility as it will just fall off. However, I can understand that if you are in an area where you cannot easily wash your hands then something like this is a very hygienic way of putting your lenses in. But for the average contact lens wearer, I would not recommend this product as it can be a safety hazard especially if you're not used to using things close to your eyes. For the removal, we have something that seems like a silicone sucker. And I have a feeling it's going to really suck at sucking. So I'm assuming the goal here is to suck it on, sort of like a suction cup and to sort of just take it out. That's what I'm thinking. Although, how would I know? There are no instructions. So let's give this a go. I'm pressing pretty firmly on my eyes right now. Doesn't seem to be sucking on too well. What if I just went straight on? Hmm, I think I might have to use the tweezer for this one. Hmm, it's a little bit more frustrating than I thought. Ok, 
Okay, so I managed to get it, but it's really not easy. Really, really not easy, trust me. As you can probably tell, this product is not worth recommending. The remover is terrible at what it needs to do, and I feel like the average contact lens wearer is probably going to hurt themselves by trying to use one of these things. So, it is a solid no from me. Let's move on to contender number two. The soft contact lens remover and insertion tool, contact tweezers, and soft silicon scoop for girls with long nails, ladies. What about guys? The instructions here include four pictures that I will attempt to follow. Number one, use the silicon spoon to scoop the lens. Number two, use silicon sucker. Number three, wearing a lens. So it seems like the suction tool is actually used for the insertion rather than the removal, which is interesting because in the last product it said inserter slash remover, which led me to believe that one side was for application, which was the hard side, and the other side was for removal, which is the soft side. And number four, take out the lens, which seems simple enough. So let's give that a go. Just like last time, I'm going to use this lens and I'm going to use the spoon that they included to scoop the lens out. Sort of like that. The instructions also say to use the suction cup for the application. Ah! Mm. There we go. It is quite slippery, so I'm quite scared that I might drop it. I must say that I felt a little bit more confident putting my lenses in with this product, firstly because the build quality on these products are much better than what we saw previously, and secondly it came with instructions that I could follow. My worry here is the removal, because in the instructions it gives us one picture of the model using the tweezers to take it out. Am I supposed to dislodge the lens beforehand, or do I go straight on? We're about to find out. So for this first one, I'm just going to go straight on without dislodging the lens away from my eyes. Tweezers right to the cornea. Let's give that a go. Hmm. Okay. I was pressing quite firmly on my eyes and it doesn't seem to be coming off. What if I went even harder? Let's give that a go. Okay, so I managed to get the lenses out, but I had to press very, very firmly. Not that it hurts or anything, but I have a feeling it's going to freak most people out. I'm going to have to say that this product is much better than what we saw initially. The build quality on this thing was much better, it was easy to use, it came with instructions, and especially if you're in an area where you can't wash your hands and cannot use your own fingers, this could be a potential viable option. From reading the reviews on this product, I can see that most people are using this because they have long nails that don't allow them to take the lenses out safely. If you find yourself in this situation, then please, if you can, trim your nails beforehand and just use your fingers. It's going to be more safe and it'll give you more confidence to use your fingers in the future. If you want to know why it's so dangerous to take out your lenses with long nails, then watch my other video on that topic. But let's move on to contender number three. We have the DMV Ultra Hard Contact Lens Remover with a whopping 4600 ratings. Now, I am quite familiar with this product. It is a very well-known brand. And believe it or not, this is the exact same tool we used in university for training. But the biggest difference is that these are designed for hard contact lenses, not soft ones. And they clearly label it on their packaging too. The build quality on this thing is great. The silicon is nicely shaped and the ability for it to suck on is amazing. I once saw a viral video of a woman trying to take her soft lenses out with one of these and it got stuck to her eyes and it was quite freaky. Ever since I saw that video, I wanted to see whether or not it is actually true that it sticks onto the eye. 
And number two, can we somehow tweak it so that we can use it for soft contact lenses? As a clinician, I am constantly looking at ways of improving my patient's quality of life, even if it means risking my own eyeballs. Which also means that you should not be trying this at home. I am doing this so that you don't have to. But that's enough talking, let's get on with the challenge. So just like last time, I'm going to put this onto the lens. Ah! Ah! Hmm! Okay, here we go. Oh! Uh oh. Insertion, not a problem, like always. However, it's the removal that I'm really worried about, so let's give that a go. Okay, I've just sucked onto it, I could feel the vacuum. And now, I am pulling as hard as I can. Ow! At this point, I don't think it is possible to suck it off because the surface tension of water, I feel, is just too strong. Hey! And at this point, I would say that a hard contact lens remover is not suitable for soft contact lens wearers, and hopefully you can see the reason why. To safely remove contacts, remember, Bringing down this lower eyelid, using the opposite hand, dragging the lens down. And if it's dislodged sort of like this, you can simply pinch it off. As easy as that. Hopefully this video demonstrated what it's like to use one of these contact lens tools. Also, remember, if a tool says four hard contact lenses only, please read the instructions carefully and don't use it for soft contacts. If you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.